Here's a White House hire you may have missed. President Trump is nominating law professor Naomi Rao to head the White House Office of Information and Regulatory Affairs. The person who holds the title is traditionally known as the regulatory czar. Rao would be a key figure in helping the president fulfill his pledge of undoing Obama administration regulations. The office she would lead is probably one of the lesser known White House units. So Susan Dudley is here to help us understand it. She did the job under President George W. Bush and is now director of the Regulatory Studies Center at George Washington University. Susan, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Elaine. So Susan, why is the White House Office of Information and Regulatory Affairs important? Well, it reviews all the regulations of the executive branch agencies of the government. And regulations are um, have the effect of law, but they're issued by um, offices that actually aren't elected with broad authority that's delegated to them from Congress. And so there's a power there. It, it is. It's part of the executive office of the president, um, and it reviews all the regulations of the government. Well, in the Wall Street Journal, you praised President Trump for nominating Nomi Rao. What role will she have in fulfilling this Trump pledge of deregulation? Well, all regulations, to issue new regulations, agencies have to go through procedures, including oversight by this office. But they also have to do that for any regulations that they modify or remove. So she will be in charge of the, the agency's regulatory, uh, all the actions, all the regulatory actions, which in this administration will be, as you mentioned, deregulatory as well as regulatory. So will she be crafting White House policy? Uh, she will be, agencies will be, so the Environmental Protection Agency or the Department of Transportation, they will have the lead at decide, looking at what regulations may be less effective that could be removed in exchange for new regulations. She will be responsible for coordinating all of that. So part of their mission, the, the office's mission that she will head, is coordinating across the agencies and with the White House. Part of it is making sure that agencies have done solid analysis to understand the, the benefits of the regulations as well as the costs. You touched on this a moment ago, but you write that regulation is one of the most direct and powerful ways by which a president can advance his policies. In terms of the changes, Susan, that he promised in his campaign, how much can the president accomplish through regulation without Congress? Well, um, presidents actually can accomplish quite a bit, and that's partly because Congress delegates very broad legislative authority to, to the executive branch, which the president heads. So certainly the president is always going to be constrained by um, the, the legal mandates, but because those legal, um, the legislation authorizing regulatory action is vague and broad, it does give the president a lot of leeway and flexibility in pursuing his own priorities. All right. Susan Dudley in Washington. Susan, thanks very much. Thank you.